service do you require? I don't know. My grandma is missing. Just a second. I'll put you through to the FBI. Agent Mulder, FBI. Don't worry, Miss Riding Hood. We're on our way. Don't say anything else. It might be dangerous. Tell us the whole story when we get there. I'm so glad you have come. I have been at my wit's end. Don't worry, Miss. We'll find your grandmother. She disappeared from here, right? I don't know. All I can tell you is that her friend Baba Yaga must know something. Okay. Hello. I was expecting guests. So I have been cooking dog's tail soup with crunchy furcon croutons. Would you like some? That sounds great, but I have an allergy to dogs. I'm not hungry either. We're here to speak to you about your friend, Mrs. Riding Hood. She disappeared. Wondering if you knew where she was. I haven't seen you here. But last time, we met, uh, she was about to see her doctor for a medical uh, checkup. I think mm, he is called Dr. House. Mrs. Ruddenhood Senior has been missing for several days and anything she said to you might be important in working out what happened to her. I wouldn't be able to disclose any medical information, but I can say that when she came she was in a state of excitement after a visit from a nephew of hers. Look, we shouldn't be telling you this, but we believe that aliens are involved in the disappearance. <sighs> you had to, didn't you? Said I was sorry, right? Your obsession is clouding your judgment. We deal in facts, and we have next to nothing to carry on, so stop theorizing. Maybe you can redeem yourself with Mr. Hood. Darren, Mr. Hood, you're not in any trouble. We know about your past convictions of stealing from the rich, but we're not here to talk about that. What can I do for you? We're investigating the disappearance of your aunt, Mrs. Rutherhood, and we wondered if you could tell us about her last visit to her. Well, as you know, I am in the business of wealth redistribution. <clears throat> the other day, uh, as I was walking through the forest, I heard rustling up ahead.
That's all extremely interesting, Mr. Hood. But what does it have to do with your last visit to your aunt? Never mind that, Scully. This is exactly the kind of unexplained happening we're here to investigate. If you think about it, almost from what Mr. Hood is saying, there's an invisible creature, there's a blue box, a laser weapon, and some kind of operator inside the box. If you hadn't been so persistent with Dr. House, I might have allowed you to follow on this story, but as it is, right now I want you to focus on matters at hand. Miss Hood was just about to tell us about his visit to his aunt. Isn't it obvious? The money I got in the forest was a gift for my aunt. So you went to give it to her? Yes. She hadn't been on holiday for years. I wanted to give her a treat. I saw her very briefly when I went to visit her. Uh, so she was thankful for a gift, but uh, her mind seems to be on the other things. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We'll be right there. We found the suspect. Do you speak to him or shall I? Okay. Uh, Mr. Shrek, we have every reason to believe that you've eaten Red Riding Hood's grandma. Why do you think that ogres think only about eating people? Ogres have layers. Deep down, I wanted to be loved by people. You don't deny you were around Miss Riding Hood's house at the time of her disappearance? Why would I deny it? She was a friend of mine. I didn't speak to her, get alone, eat her. She was with someone else. I think maybe it was a wolf. And where could we find this wolf? There's a boy who lives in the forest, who will be able to help you. What's his name? Mowgli. Mowgli, isn't it? What? I hear you good friends, Mr. Wolf. Yes, what if I am? He's in no trouble. We just want to ask him a couple of questions. I don't know where he is, but he said something about changing his life and disappeared a few days ago. It's hopeless. We've got two missing persons and no evidence against our only suspect. The scent's gone cold. Then I guess uh, we'll have to tell Red Riding Hood that we failed to solve the case. No, I think we tripped over a crappy bottle. Whoa. Oh, what is that? Whose house are you calling? Crap here? Who on earth are you? I am the genie from the Lipton Nepal tea bottle, and I should grant you free wishes, even though I don't want to. My wish is to know whether aliens exist. And I'd like to know if he'll marry me. Remember, you have one wish left, so make it a good one. This last wish is mine. That's not fair. I wanted something else to you. Hang on. Okay. This genie can solve the case. Okay then. So our third wish is to solve the case. What happened to the grandma on the hood? Dear Yaga, I am writing from sunny Hawaii. I hope you haven't been too worried about me. But Mr. Wolf took me on a surprise holiday and we decided to get married while we were here. Oh, give my love to my granddaughter and tell her not to worry. Hmm.